Hello guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to create this little fixed position audio player. Great little thing to have on your site, a little mp3 file, play whatever you want. As you can see when I scroll up and down the site, it stays there. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. I'm just going to delete that. Now, let's create an audio. It doesn't matter where we put it because we're going to make it fixed position. So let's just add a new module here. Divi comes as standard with all these modules. Plenty enough there to get any sort of website built. If you have WooCommerce installed, you also get a dozen extra. So today we want to use the audio module. There it is right there. And up it pops. Now for my floating one, I don't want to bother having a title or an artist name. You can have one if you want to. I'm just going to get rid of mine and just leave it as a straight player. If we go down to audio just down below, hit the upload button and upload your desired audio file. Just simply left click, drag and drop or browse to whatever location you want. Once uploaded, let's hit the little upload audio file button. And there we are, we're good to go. Now let's give it some simple decoration. You can leave it like that if you want to. I'm going to go down to spacing. I'm just going to get 15 pixels top and bottom. It may look a little offset, but when we save it and get out of the builder, that should be perfectly aligned there. Um, let's give it a little blue border or something. You can do top, right, bottom, left individually if you want to. But I'm going to do all four, that one right there. I'm going to give it, say, two picks. I'm going to make it blue. Not too keen on the background color there. I'm just going to go ahead and make mine black. So just go back to content, to background, color, black. There we go. Obviously you make yours whatever color you want. You can have a gradient, you can have an image, you can have a video if you want to, but I don't think that would work too well behind there. All right, well let's make this sticky now. And that's really easy. With some recent positioning updates that Divi has included in their theme, it's so easy to do fixed positioning elements. I used to have to do this all with CSS before. So we're on the advanced tab. Just go down to position. And there you'll see position. Click on the little arrow and it'll give you options for relative, absolute or fixed. I want mine to be fixed. And it may look like it's disappeared there, but it's actually shot up below the menu there on the top left hand side. We've got a little grid. You can do top left, middle, top right, middle left, as you can see it's there now. Bottom left, I've already got a sticky search bar there. Middle bottom and left bottom there, which I think that's where I'll have it. And down below we've got some vertical offset, so you can bring it up or down if you want to. Just bring it up slightly, I think. Something like that. And you've got a horizontal offset. You can take it away from the side if you want to. You can put it wherever you want. Just want mine slightly off the side there. Now if you're sliding up and down, I think we're good with this one, and you find that other, other elements are going over the top of it, you want to increase the Z index. The Z index is forward or backwards in the site. For instance, if I had two elements, one with a Z index of 1 and one with a Z index of 2, the one with the Z index of 2 would appear on top of the other element, the one with the Z index of 1 and you can ramp it up all the way. You can even type in a ridiculously huge number in there if you want to. But like I say, mine's working fine. Now any of these little controls in the Divi modules here, if you mess with it and decide that you don't like what you've done, simply select it and delete it. It'll go back to the default value for you. So we should be good to go there. Let's save our changes. Let's save the page changes. 
and let's exit the visual builder and there it is there's our little sticky audio player there let's make sure it's going to play yep that's absolutely fine and we can scroll up and down with it make sure that nothing's going to overlap it perfect so there you have it there is how to create a fixed position or sticky audio player for your website really easy with the Divi theme so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day.